What is going on YouTube? Yes, I'm back with another video. It's time to get into a little bit of something else. We need to finish this box from the Jackie Robinson of YouTube, Aaron Davis. Um, if you did not see the first video, it was straight fire. I mean, it was just fire coming out of this box. Uh, it, it was in the package and whoo. Um, and those of you wondering, yes, right after I opened that box, I ended up taking three drinks of whiskey. Three shots had to go down behind that box. If you didn't see the video, put a link right there. Just click the link and you'll go back to that video. Now, as for some of the cards, um, you can probably see in the background, Raleigh Fingers is right there by one of his other signatures and by Louis App Aparicio's signature. And I don't know if the glare is knocking it out or not, but the Monty Irvin Bowman 51 Rookie Auto is right there by the Joe Black Auto and some of the other Negro League players so they can all just chit chat and have a nice fun time sitting in the case. But we still have more to get to because there's something else in this box. Um, this is the shirt that Aaron Davis's wife had made up, which, Miss Davis, if you are watching, I wholeheartedly thank you for thinking of me when you were making this shirt of Satchel Paige up. So, let's just set that there. There's still something else in this box. Um, so, let's open it up, see what, what's in here. Got an idea of what this is. Uh, all right. Grace. No, you didn't. Aaron. Boy, boy, boy. Set this down here. Sorry, but, you know, I've got to set. It's a Negro League jersey of my favorite team, Homestead Grays which were later moved from Kansas to Washington. Whole nother story. Homestead Grays jersey. Wow. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys can't see the back. Oh my gosh. Um. Wow. Wow. I, let me show you. I can't even talk about it. Wow. Um, let me get this up by the camera. Oh, oh my God. This, um, there, who, there's a story behind this jersey. Um, damn Aaron, you're going to make me emotional on camera. But what had happened, I don't know if you guys saw the video or not. There was an auction going on, I guess this was about a year ago. And it's when I got the Negro League autograph bat that's signed by like 40 different players. This jersey was up for auction at the same time. And Aaron and I had been talking, and uh, Aaron's like, man, you're going to get the jersey. And I said, no, I'm not going to get the jersey because I want this bat. And I don't want to blow my budget by getting both items. So Aaron was told me, he said, all right, since you want the bat, I'm going to buy the jersey for my collection. Said, that's cool. It's a beautiful piece. And I ended up winning the bat. Aaron told me he got the jersey. And... I had no idea he was sending me that jersey. I mean, look at the autographs on here. Holy shit. Oh. This thing is signed by uh, Ernie Winfield, 1959 through 1965. Dennis Biddle. You know, this has to be old signatures. I know for a fact, Dennis Biddle, he's most known for... Uh, breaking the color barrier in the Carolina Leagues 
and Biddle died in 2012. So, and this is a nice clean signature. So this is very old signatures then. This had to be signed in the 2000s or maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, absolutely earlier because it's James Johnson's signature right here and inscribed 1928 to 1943, which actually goes right along with the Bob Wiggins um, right here and the Buck O'Neill. Don't know if you guys can see that. Those of you that were at National know I was looking for a Buck O'Neill autograph and this is uh, before Buck had gotten really old, his signature is still nice and clean. Oh, let me let me get closer to the camera with this one. All right, there you go. You can see that's a nice, clean Buck O'Neill autograph. Um, Hank Presswood. Uh, I'm not even gonna get into Buck O'Neill. That's why I'm just kind of skipping over it because I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you guys should watch uh, the Ken Burns documentary, Baseball. You, you'll find out about Buck O'Neill. There's lots of documentaries on Buck O'Neill. The man is a true legend and a legend to the point that even though, you know, sorry, but I got to get into a little story with Buck O'Neill. I was watching a documentary about him uh, from the Negro League Hall of Fame and you can find the video on YouTube. And Buck uh, had came up for Hall of Fame vote and he didn't get in. And to tell you the kind of man he was, uh, he didn't care he didn't get in. All he cared about was who did get in and the other players that were up for nomination. And they said that when he told him he didn't get in, he said, he just nodded and said, what about the others? And he, they said, yeah, they got in. And they said Buck just started jumping up and dancing and clapping, just glad others got in. So that's a testament to Buck O'Neill. Um, Hank Presswood, man, just a true legend. Played with uh, Robinson and a lot of the guys just before they broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. Uh, Ernie Winfield, um, Dennis Biddle, Carl Long. There's not much known about Carl Long or James, uh, James Johnson who played from 1928 to 1943. Actually, I think he played from 1923. He was a shortstop. Um, right there, Aaron, I'm surprised you didn't keep it because of this signature, Don Newcomb. That's Aaron's guy right there. And this signature I can't quite make out because it's all loopy, but there you go, guys. Oh, I am, I'm speechless and about to get emotional on camera so this video is going to be about over um, this is actually going to a professional framer to have it framed so it can be put on the wall Aaron I can't thank you enough for this one I, I truly can't thank you enough um, I hope everybody did enjoy that but you gotta remember something there's a whole nother box from AD to go through. And it's heavy. Uh, according to the tag, this is almost six pounds. So, I don't know what's in there. We're gonna go through it together. This box is still sealed, um, but this one, he had had me to open to check and uh, to make sure that this didn't get damaged and all I told him was hey there's no moisture in it there's bubble wrap it's all still looks good and that was it so wow wow 1945 champion uh, Homestead Grays jersey an authentic jersey with all the signatures on it and this is definitely definitely wall bound um man I, I just don't know what to say Aaron wow 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 well guys this is a short video um I, I don't know what to say anyway I will talk with you tubers later thank you so much Aaron Mrs. Davis 
we're gonna break that other box and see what we get. I got I I just got to uh, I just wanted to get this video out. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to have another drink. Catch you on the next one.